no visitations. I heard a story once that shouldn't be believed. Or maybe it was that it should, but it should never be shared. Or maybe it was a bus timetable and fares muddled became a story, as the mind is off to do, of a graveyard. A mass grave with no markers or names where people piled 12 deep and miles across are splayed crisscrossed and tongue-tied around each other. It's said that there are no visitors. A sign says so in gentle block lettering, no visitations. And were a curious person to walk in anyway to see if this tale is true, nothing would be found. Not even under stones. Here, they say, is a place where even the birds respect the, t the silence demanded. For what a killing it is indeed that brought them together. It's a place beyond wishing rest where sleep is done softly, wide-eyed. The buried are not to be missed or mourned or cried, why for, why for, in this place? Here, the secrets are too old for words, too sacred for memory, and too fragile to know. Or so they say, and how ridiculous a thing, a story like that. But it's said that just before a kill is made, all voices gone before can be heard by a few. Their speech only for when they offer this comfort, weirder and more true than any other, that it is known that a mass grave, miles splayed, crisscrossed lie the tongue tied, bound to each other, bones locked in solidarity for all time. <laughs> Rhymes of time. Words slip, slippery lips upon a pale slope of sliding skin, wet with aching trails, hoping to reach past this, this what? Watching all things move, shift, Cry open, jaws biting brine, rhymes of time repeating, oh, the woes we weave, trying to stop this inevitable loss we know will come if they don't halt their foolish progress toward false prophecy. Ooh. Ode to Charlie Chaplin. Now, Manners propose that prose be raved or depraved. And judgments are quick, but the mind too fast to rest upon the thing before stating so. Hearing each thing new, nothing new, but all new, it's deafening, like mockingbirds. Only when pause to see their wings and beaks are their familiar natures reminded. Nature is nature, and all is all, and nothing is newly new but imagination. It's in the quiet repose that bower birds build. Creation is not for mimics, but a tool of mimics too. Followers only follow. Agreements make no exchange. In the mocking or the mimicry, we see a decry of sophistry, the most honest of all illusions, only when done with heart. Oh.